Welcome. My name is Alarek Hamacher and I am very happy to welcome you here to this program in 3D. What you're watching now is a program which will talk about Apple Vision Pro and 3D cinema. I would like to introduce to you a couple of topics and especially if you're a filmmaker, you can learn some interesting practices and also workflows to work and to create stereoscopic movies. So when we talk about 3D movies, we talk about the movies that originally you can watch with uh, some sort of uh, glasses. So these are the anaglyph glasses. You can maybe use these to watch 3D movies on YouTube. But there are also other glasses here, such as the polarized glasses that are very often used in 3D cinemas or on 3D televisions to give a comfortable view of the 3D content. And if um, you have maybe seen one of these glasses, they are also used in 3D cinemas and uh, special um, DLP projectors. And these are shutter glasses that show left and right images one after the other. So if you're interested in these kind of topics, then um, you come to the right channel and I invite you also to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of the episodes uh, that I'm going to talk about. And today I would like to give you a little introduction. So um, I'm going to make a very short summary to explain to you what um, my little programs are going to be um, about. I'm producing this here as a small um, podcast and I'm going to try different ways of distributing the content. One of the reasons I'm doing this is that I am also watching the news. We are seeing here that Apple is um, producing different uh, uh, different devices. You maybe have seen the um, new camera that was announced by Apple. So people are interested in 3D movies because the new Apple Vision Pro also allows to see 3D content. And this is a new medium, not only for viewing, but also for producing 3D movies. And you maybe have seen um, some example of this. So this is of course here an 8K uh, camera for 3D, which not everybody can afford. But it is interesting to know that um, the new iPhones are also capable to record what they call um, spatial movies, which are 3D movies. So using the two cameras here. And I would like to explain to you how um, we can actually create different uh, elements and different text um, like uh, this. So um, if we want to shoot movies, there is the iPhone, which is now a very popular tool and device. I would like to um, dedicate a whole episode to how this works and how you can actually create some movies. So this is not only for shooting some clips, but I will also um, explain how it is possible to separate the light and the left image in order to um, actually edit the 3D movies because you will maybe use some professional editing software like DaVinci Resolve to um, edit uh, and cut the scenes, maybe add some special effects and uh, also some uh, color grading. And in order to do this, um, you will need some uh, special tools. And this will also be a special uh, uh, lecture and video I would like to make with some tools that I have created and other people are creating too. You will find very soon a lot of updates on different platforms and they will allow you also to create additional 3D content. So especially if we use new codecs that are called a multi-view codecs in HEVC for example, um, this allows new possibilities for creating and distributing contents. So of course you cannot shoot 
only simply with one camera, the iPhone, there are different devices. Um, you can also use two cameras and this is actually the way how professional 3D movies are made. And I would like in this um, uh, series of videos talk about this new little um, black magic um, uh, camera the micro studio 4k camera generation 2 which is actually very amazing and um, i would like to show you how to put a 3d setup together with this uh, little camera how to synchronize and how to um, use this device and uh, a very beautiful camera to create a, a 3d camera for, in which you can then record in extremely high quality However, this small camera also needs to be controlled somehow. You see there is no monitor, nothing that is involved um, here. So I will also explain uh, how we can remote control the cameras in order to create a small setup that uh, allows you to change the focus, to change exposure and all other parameters in the camera to make this an interesting device for uh, shooting. Um, Eventually, I also would like to show you um, how we proceed with the mastering of 3D videos. So this is basically when you are looking at different targets, um, if it is the 3D cinema or uh, another one uh, as a channel, for example, the one you are seeing here. So I would like to talk to you a little bit about the specific um, uh, requirements that are needed if you target a special, um, a special distribution. and. I would like to talk in the first place, of course, about uh, the 3D cinema. This is digital cinema. And not only because I really love this very much, but also because I'm programmer and curator at the Busan International Short Film Festival. And I would like uh, you to use this knowledge to challenge you and to encourage you also to create some movies that you can submit to this festival. So this is one of the purpose why I'm making this little show, because I also would like to um, convince and uh, encourage uh, new people, filmmakers, to try this technology and to discover this wonderful world in three dimensions. But you will see that, of course, there is not only the cinema, there are also other distribution ways. One very famous one is the one with YouTube, and I'm very happy to tell you that this also works now on mobile devices. So the mobile devices have a special app, and inside this app you get the choice to choose 2D or 3D um, uh, in the stream, depending if it was created for, for 3D. So I would like to tell you what you need to do to create the stream, the metadata, to distribute it on YouTube, if you like. There is also very recently Vimeo that started offering service um, using stereoscopic 3D. This is especially targeted at the Apple Vision Pro. And I also would like to try this out and um, show this additional distribution channel. And eventually, of course, you may be watching this program also on Apple Vision Pro. Um, you will see that there are some specific tools and features available to code special videos to make these video available in your library or also to stream them in an app. So this is going to be um, one of the targets for distribution I would also like to talk to you about. But this is not limited to the mm, devices I have just described. There are many, many others. And don't forget the video projectors and the three televisions and uh, head mounted displays from other manufacturers. So the purpose is that we get our content and our movies to show on as many people and on as many devices as possible. And I would be really, really happy if um, you let me know what you're especially interested in because then I can maybe cover this uh, a little bit more. So this is so far the first part of uh, my introduction. I'm looking very much forward to um, seeing you in the next episode and I wish you all a great time and great day and I can't wait to explain to you and to dive into the details and depth of uh, the subject of stereoscopic imaging. Okay, so many greetings, see you soon, and let's close this, op uh, this episode um, for today.